Hi everyone, in this video we will make localization system in Unity. After this video you should check out these videos on my channel. So let's start. Firstly we have to go to asset store. Then type localization. Then we need to click the free assets. And then we will download this package. And download from package manager. After that we have to import this package. Ok we are ready. Now I'm going to add UI text. Okay, I will change the color and font size. Okay, our text is ready. So after that, I have to add localization manager. So I'm creating an empty game object and I'm calling localization manager to this. Then I'm typing localization and I'm adding this script. So here. So in this part we have to go to the Google Sheets. Okay, after that we need to go to the Google Sheets. We can open Google Sheets from here. And click this plus button. So in this page we have to add columns. The first column is key. The second column is your language. It doesn't matter which one is. And the other one is punch. So for example, I will add welcome. So for this, I'm adding my key. Okay, we are ready. I'm changing my page name menu. I'm opening the Unity. So in here, we have to add our table ID. Table ID is here. Go back to the Google Sheets. So copy this path. This is our table ID. So our sheets are here name is menu and ID is zero this is the page ID if I add extra page it will change for example so as you can see it changed so I'm copying it this is message page and that's it After we need to choose save folder. So I will choose this folder. Then I'm clicking the sync button. And don't forget to share your files. Okay. As you can see our files are here. So after that we need to write some codes. You can create an empty game object. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm typing multi language. So open it. So I'm adding every method. Here I have to add localization read. This command will read our CSV file. After that, localization manager nocta language equals English. After that, we need to choose our text. So here I'm adding a component localizer text. So here I will give our keys. Menu.welcome. So let's check it. You can see our English text here. So let's try Spanish. I will change this part. So it's working very well. You can see it. Okay, let's set this our system language. For this, I'm adding switch case, application, system language, system language, English, then this one, if you do like this, system will change this language automatically, let's try it. Okay, it's English now. So if you don't want to change automatically, you can change via buttons. So let's add some buttons. For this, I'm adding button. One of them is English and the other one is Spanish. So 
So for this, I have to add a method. Let's add it. It will take a string parameter. So that's it. We have to set our buttons here. I'm typing English and the other one is Spanish. So let's try it. As you can see, it changed. So our last part is change text without localized text. So let's delete it. I have to set this text. So text dot text plus manager localize. We have to type our key here. Let's try it. After that, I have to drag my text here. So let's test it. It's not fit. As you can see, it's working very well. And the other thing is dynamic text. For this, we have to add title like this. For example, message dot how to. How are you? And like this. After that, we have to synchronize it again. So I'm going to the localization manager then click the sync button because we add new things okay let's test it first one is key and the other part is our text for example our title is message not how to and comma okay let's test it as you can see, it puts our text here. Let's check Spanish. I will move this part to the here for see change. Let's test it. So as you can see, it's changed. We are done. As you can see, it's very easy, isn't it? If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. Also leave a comment. See you in the next video.